Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. Today I'm going to be trying for the very first time to create beeswax candles with this kit. It has a book on the back. It's created by the brand T.S. Sure, which I've actually never heard of before. I got this from Target though. Let's do a really quick unboxing. Ta-da! We have 72 inches of waxing cord. Wa waxing? Did I just say that? Really? Wicking cord. They're wicks. Five sheets of flat wax. Six large sheets of beeswax, some punch out patterns, colorful wire, which is in with the wicks and I was wondering why there would be colorful wicks, and this idea book. It's really interesting, it's kind of bendy. Really waxy though. My fingers have some residue. That is a nasty word actually. I have some residue on me. Gross. Now I'm gonna try making some candles. Follow me. I really like the cake candle, so I wanna try this one first. I'm just going to cut a section of this wax, of the beeswax, and that's gonna be the bottom layer of the cake. The instructions say to warm up the wax with a blow dryer before starting to shape it. It is a little bit bendy, but I feel like it would probably break apart or snap somehow if you try and bend it the entire way. So I have my blow dryer here and I'm gonna warm it up. Now it's a lot more workable. I did realize though while blow drying this, you need to hold it down very firmly because I blew it away a couple times. It didn't fall off the table, but yeah, it's very easy to blow this off the table. You are supposed to cut the wick to be about an inch or so longer than the candle that you're making. This is a layer cake though, and this is only one of the layers. So I think I'm gonna have to extend this quite a bit so it will be able to go through all three layers. I'm definitely gonna have to wrap this a couple more times, I think, in order to get something that looks like that. I'm gonna do a second layer of red first, and then I want the outside of the cake to be pink, so I'm gonna do pink after. All right, let's warm these guys up. Oh no. No, 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 no. <laughs> Again, don't let them blow away like I've been doing. Why can't I follow my own advice? I may have gotten a little bit over ambitious with the size of this piece here, as you can see here, I cut a piece that is half the width of this and the pink piece. So instead of this being a single layer, I'm gonna turn it into the bottom layer and the top layer. I did underestimate how much wax exactly goes into making one of these. Let's move this aside. I will be cutting this in half. If you're confused, just watch. I will show you what I'm going to do to transform this. I use two entire red strips around the bottom and then one pink one, which kind of looks red because there's so much red underneath it and I only put one layer. I've already heated this pink strip here and the top of the cake and I'm going to wrap this around. And I think I'm just gonna wrap it around one time and then cut the excess off so it doesn't get too wide at the top. Just like that and then I'm going to trim the excess. So for the top of the cake, in order to cover up all this, I decided to use a piece of flat wax and I cut that into a circle obviously and then I'm going to put a little hole in the middle. I'm just gonna carefully do that with the tip of my scissors here. Then I'll heat this up and just put it so the wick goes through there. So it'll be like that. I cut this really, really thin thin piece of yellow and I'm going to use this as a trim around the top part of the cake and I'm also going to cut a little piece to go around the bottom. Now I'm going to attempt to put a tiny flower decoration on so I'm going to start with a leaf 
And I think I'm gonna put that going this way. Then these two pieces, I'm going to stagger a little bit and roll together and see if that works to make a little flower bud. I actually didn't use the stencils because they look like they're gonna be a little bit too wide for my size cake. So I just freehanded them. Oh, and that piece broke. I'm gonna try and pretend it didn't. <laughs> Go back together. So I think that looks really cute, but I was going to add another one to the top and I don't think that looks very good. So I'm just going to knock you off. Sorry, little flower. That looks a lot better. Off camera, I made this little beehive cam camera <laughs> candle. Wow, um, I'm looking at my camera but it was supposed to look a little bit something like this and have a door. I guess this triangle was not big enough and I probably should have used the entire like half of this beeswax sheet and made it a lot bigger, but it still looks really cute. The only reason I made the second one is so we can test out how well the beeswax burns. So I'm gonna go get my lighter and be right back. The candle doesn't burn for a super long time, but then again, it also isn't instant. This didn't happen in just a minute. I think it was over 10, but I should have timed it. And the bee decoration that I put on the outside didn't get completely ruined, so I can use that for another candle if I want to. All in all, I think this is a really unique kit and it's definitely worth the money since it's not overly expensive in my opinion. Plus I do have quite a bit of wax left over so I can create a few more candles as long as I keep them on kind of a smaller scale. bought quite a few more craft kits. Here are four of them that I'm gonna sneak peek you in on now. So in the comment section below, let me know which kit you want me to try next. And the one with the most comments will be the winner and I will try that one in the next video and you may have your comment featured as well. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up to let me know and also turn on post notifications, ring that bell so you never miss out on a new upload here. I do post every single Friday and sometimes a couple times a week, it just depends. And if you're bored, please check out some of my other videos. I'll link some here and in the iCard as well as the description box so they're everywhere. I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching, bye.